Hey everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. In today's video, we are going to talk about python-.env package and how to use it to store credentials and environment variables. If you are working on a project that needs to connect to a database or external APIs, you will likely need to store credentials such as API keys or database passwords. Hard coding this value used in your code is not recommended, as it can pose some security risks in the long run. Instead, you can use python-env package to store these values in a separate file and load them into your project as environment variables. Let's get started by installing this package using pip by typing pip install python.env. So let me just put here one space. So once the package is installed, you can import it in your project. So I only have one simple Python script here with two folders, one for the virtual environment I'm using, Bev and Docs folder. But you can use the same approach if you are working on a Django project or a Flask project or any environment that requires Python. So let's import the package by saying from .env import load dot end right for that and now let's create a new file in the project's root directory this file we need to call it dot end and this is where we are going to store our environment variables to do so let's create a new file here and call it dot end And now let's store our environment variables in the following format. Let's say we have a database, or let's say we have username and email. So we can just say username in that manner, then a call sign, and then the value of the, of, the, of the environment variable. So here we could say something like Kudasteroy. Then we can put password as second variable, and then Let's put something like, um, I don't know, maybe Flourish, or let's say Cadasteroid123. I know it's a very stupid password, but just to give you guys an idea how to store this. So let's save the file and go back to min.py. What we need to do is to run this method, load.env. This method is going to load all the environment variables we have in .env into our project. Now, in order to access these values, we need a package in Python called OS. So let's import it first. Say import OS. And then let's access these values using OS module in Python. But first, let's assign these values to our variables. Let's say we want something like username for example or let's say um yeah let's keep it username as always this will not make any conflict so and then we can say os get inf and then we can put the name of the environment variables we have here which is username and then we can do the same for the second variable which is password and then we can just say get inf then password. Right, so now our environment variables are successfully loaded, but we need to make sure and verify those variables are set up properly. To do this, let's just print username and password. Now let's save the file and go back to our terminal and run python mean.py. If the variables are set up properly, we will see the values here in the console. If not, we will get none, and then we should double check our environment variables if our names match the names we have in our mean.py file. Now you can see we have cadasteroid and cadasteroid123, which means our environment our environment variables are created and loaded properly. So 
So that's it. This is how you can store and load your environment variables in a Python project using python.env package. There is one more thing to mention here. If you are going to push something to a remote repository, don't forget to ignore this file.env so that you cannot push your credentials to an open source project or any remote repository. To do so, let's create get ignore file. Oh, sorry, here I'm putting this part. Get ignore. And then we can put our environment variable 5. We also need to put bin, need to, and also.env. So, in that way, when we push something to your remote repository, your .env file will not be pushed so that you can make it secure. That's all for now. Hope you can find this tutorial useful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial. Bye for now. <laughs>